first glance, this problem looks very easy. Sadly, this is a very common trap in algebra. Let us first talk about the common mistake that many students make. In school, we learn a rule for square roots that says the square root of one number, say a, multiplied by the square root of another number, say b, is equal to the square root of their product. Because this rule is used so often, people start applying it everywhere without checking whether it is allowed. So when they see the square root of minus 4 multiplied by the square root of minus 9, they quickly multiply minus 4 and minus 9 inside the square root, which becomes positive 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. This answer feels satisfying. So many people stop here. The key issue is that the product rule for square roots does not always work. This rule only works when at least one of the numbers inside the square roots is non-negative. When both numbers are negative, the rule fails. In our problem, both minus 4 and minus 9 are negative, so applying the rule directly is not allowed. That is why the answer 6 is incorrect, even though it looks convincing. To solve this problem properly, we need a new idea, and that idea is called the imaginary unit, usually denoted by the letter i. It is defined as the square root of minus 1. This single definition allows us to make sense of square roots of all negative numbers. So what will be the value of i squared? It will be minus 1. Okay, now let us redo the problem the correct way. Instead of combining everything at once, we simplify each square root separately using i. Start with the square root of minus 4. We rewrite minus 4 as 4 times minus 1. Since 4 is positive, we are allowed to split the square root like this. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of minus 1 is i. So the square root of minus 4 becomes 2i. We do the same thing for minus 9. Rewrite minus 9 as 9 times minus 1. The square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of minus 1 is i. So the square root of minus 9 becomes 3i. Now we multiply these results together. 2i multiplied by 3i gives 6 times i squared. But, as mentioned, i squared equals minus 1, and thus this gives 6 times minus 1, which is minus 6. So the final correct answer is minus 6, and that's it. Like, share, and subscribe. So good.